Okay, so I've been in the house for three days doing Christmas stuff. <laughs> putting up stuff, putting things all over the place, and I just have to get out and see what my garden's doing. So, got my phone. I'm looking at the app. Principle number seven. 55. Okay, 55 is good to work in. So, just looking around. Mm. Strawberries still look good. Roses are completely dead. <laughs> well, sleeping. But they have little buds on them. A flower bud. Strawberry. Look at that. Oh, okay. All right. Oops. Look at this. What? Pansies are looking sad. And they need water. So I'm going to get a bucket. So in the winter time, you don't want to just leave the plants to themselves completely. There's a little bit of watering to do. Okay, let's start here, right at the door. These plants look a little sad. Pansies need some water. It's been 20 degrees, 19 I think once, it says feels like 15, and we had a lot of wind. So go out and give everybody a drink. Good drink, yep. I saw some more pansies and they were dry. So stuck my finger in and they were dry. So let's give them a bunch of water. Most of your pots outside probably gonna need some water. And it's warming up today. One more pot, which I think has oregano. It doesn't look very good, but let's water it anyways. It's probably dried out. All right, at this house, at this house, I only have water from the inside. So um, I'm going into the house. <laughs> I'm going into the house and I'm getting water from the sink. We're gonna wait for it to fill up and do a few more pots. Eh, that's the way you gotta do it in the winter time. So we got our bucket and actually we got our water, what do we call this? We got our watering can and we're going down the hill and we're gonna find some things to water. It's a good little Christmas tree. He stands about a little above waist high for me. Kind of small, but I'm gonna put Christmas lights on him this year and see how it looks. Okay. Go down the hill. Mm. Ooh, look at all those leaves. That's the bed we just did, but this is what happens in the wintertime. We had so much wind this week. Very cold, lots of wind, and eh, they'll blow somewhere else. Here's a pot that looks sad. It has some sort of a, a, a non-fruiting cherry tree that a friend gave me and I liked hers. It was small, maybe it grew to seven feet in 10 years, so small tree. And I'll probably put this pot on that stump that is by Williamsburg Garden. I don't know, he looks kind of sad. I think I need some pansies or something to fill it. Okay, and here's some of those plants that we, new plantings that we did, the coral berry. I'm gonna give it some water. New plants that you did in the fall, I would give it water just because they haven't rooted yet. I'm really impressed with these. 
Well, we went through a 19 degrees, 18, lots of wind. They look pretty good. There's the boxwoods will survive. Green Mountain. Cor Coral Berry Hookera. Oh, what a name. Coral Berry sounds so much prettier. Get these good and watered. A splash on him. My Berkman Gold. And what's him? Let's see. Um, I think that's Coneflower. Eh, see him. Seed him a little bit. Okay. Let's pour the rest on these. All right. Go back up the hill. Go, 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 go. <laughs> that was the cows. I don't know if you see the cows. Uh-huh. Don't they look good? Okay, yes, stop and look at views. If you have any good views, look at them. Having a good old time. Eating grass, having a good time. I'm on my third can. Uh, watering can filling it up. Now something you can do while you're waiting for that is a stretch exercise. It looks kind of terrible, but it works. Do this. All right, we're all gonna get that as we get older. Here's an exercise from Jack Lane. I don't know why I remember it. Okay, don't freak out. This is all you have to do. <laughs> Do that while you're waiting for something like this watering can. So out again. We're going to go to another section. Isn't this funny? So doing a little exercise while you're waiting for things. Oh, shush. All the cows are making their scenes. All right, I'm going to go to some of the other plants that we put in. Okay. This is two plants next to, remember the Williamsburg? Okay. Oh, what was he? Bowling ball, Arb, and Euonymus. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna remember everything, but I'm gonna give everybody a drink. Looking good. He handled 15 degrees. I think this is zone, I'd have to look at the tag again, but he wasn't zone seven. I like to get plants that can handle zones that are slightly colder than zone seven. I like to go to the six, five, four, and three, and um, then you don't have to baby them as much. They're supposed to be good with being outside and being cold. I don't know how God does it, but he does. And uh, these are his plants, so he got to take care of them. <laughs> uh, but everything's looking good. Mr. Bowling Ball. Get a good drink. Stand back. Okay, really pretty. All right, this is where I put bleach. It's not perfect, but I think when I get water back on, um, maybe in the spring. Yeah, he did a little bit. It was black, black all over. Uh, so I'll get the pressure washer out and pressure wash it, and then I'm gonna paint it black. And then I at least won't see that. This is outside. It is what it is. It's in a breezy area, so black mold, you know. Leave it and paint it. Oh my. What is this? Okay. Uh oh, okay. Wind blown. I'm up on the cistern. There's my fruit garden. There's the entry to the house. 
And here's some pots that I'm gonna water. Okay, this is the l cows. I've got some competition here. So I'm on my last bucket of water and let's go up to the Williamsburg Garden and, and fill up the last plant that I did this fall. Hush. Look at them all. Doing their thing. It's <laughs> so fun. So that's my view when we come out the door. And there's, oh hush. <laughs> so there you see is the bowling, Mr. Bowling Ball and the Euonymus next to the pump. Go around here, red hot pokers. And see them? The stump with some more um, four by fours for my husband is still building, hush. <laughs> still building the fence. Okay, here's what we're gonna try though. I'm gonna try to go up the hill. See, there was the cistern, that's where we were. So I'm gonna try to go up this hill and we're gonna walk up this, we'll, we'll pretend it's got brick already. So I'm gonna attempt this later today because actually creepily I'm getting hot. And what am I wearing? What? flip-flops. <laughs> I don't know why I wear flip-flops. It's the thing. Um, I did that all through when I was young <laughs> and that's the way it is. Okay, let's <laughs> uh, Okay, so let's move up the hill. Okay, sorry for the wobbly. I'll try to keep it as best I can. All right, here's, here's the hub. We'll be going around this circle, but not taking the all the way. We're gonna go right here, and we're gonna go up the path all the way to the top, and we're gonna water him. This is where I think I wanna bench. Up, 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 okay. More four by fours for my little picket fence. It's gonna be so cute, all right. Moving on, I planted him in the fall, so he needs to be watered. Okay. Now, he's an established plant, so he won't be water, need to be watered. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Next year, I'll see. I think I'm an overwaterer, but I think that works better than fertilizer. I don't over fertilize. I sometimes will fertilize in the spring and that's it. I know a lot of people do fertilizer when they're putting the plant in and fall, spring, you know, every three weeks, all this stuff. It's a lot of money. So I just water and they grow. <laughs> They grow a lot. Now, of course, if they're diseased or something's wrong with them, I try to look up the type of plant I have and 
you know, what are the disease diseases for this plant. Okay. He looks good. Oh, no. This is next. A bunch of peonies that just, hmm, they're done. Let's go up the hill. Yep, they're done, but it'll be three wax and gone. So when I'm in the mood, but not today, I will take care of those. Okay, we're going downhill towards the orchard and I have just a little bit more water. So I am going to what I call the one. Remember, we had these evergreens and they're the only things that are not on drip. They're up the hill. They'll get established on their own and they won't need my help. But these are twigs. Now look at him, isn't he so pretty? Okay, so this is the one. So we have a five, three, one, one area. <laughs> this is one of the ones. And he's by the fruit area and I don't always water him. So I have a little bit left. I'm just gonna water him, be done. And more exercise for me, so that's good. And there's the beautiful, I wanna show you this up close. Look at him, he's an infant because those deer last year, they got, they got my maple, it was the brandy wine. I got three brandy wines and the third one was here, which is on the west side of our house. There's the cistern. There's the front of the house, well, the south side. There's the big evergreen and there's all the fruit trees. And I put a big maple here and a deer um, got him and um, it didn't survive. So this one I decided, I didn't see another brandy wine, so I got an October Glory. It's gonna get big, which I need because this is the west side and when it gets there of course all those lavender they'll probably need to go anyways but they will not they'll have shade and that will then i'll have to put them somewhere else if they're still living or change my mind about said things there's where the grape um vine that i we'll see if i can get there's where the grapevine's gonna go okay anyways let me take you down let's see if i can see this it's so bright can you even see that? <laughs> it probably doesn't look like much of it. It's, just, it's been so beautiful for so long. Fired up red. It's just now crinkling after 18 degrees, 19 degrees, wind, wind, wind. This guy gets whipped. Okay, so he's sort of crinkling, but oh, I don't even know if I can show you one. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if that shows up in here, but really red, really fiery, beautiful. And when it gets large, I know all of my plants are infants. That's the way I like to go. Because after 10 years, I'm the one that gets to enjoy how they grew up. They're like our kids. We don't want them to grow up all at once. Well, maybe some of us do. But um, I like to enjoy them just as they are. A couple of feet and I have a grandson who is getting bigger and bigger and I enjoy that. Um, he's only less than two months, so, but he's got his head up and doing his bobbing and it's just fun. So I don't like everything to grow up at once. Um, just enjoy it as it is. And also you can get out, take care of them a little bit. You'll have a good time with them, I think. Um, and you'll get to see them grow and you can uh, add to your garden as they go. You don't wanna just, garden once and done. It, it's not once and done for family time. It's not once and done to uh, put on your clothes. They're not on forever. You got to take them off, get in your pajamas. It's not a once and done thing. Um, everything takes time and gardening is a fun thing to do. It's, an, it's a way, it's a gift, I think, from God that 
He gives us a chance to enjoy the beauty, the beauty of the day, the sun, and getting your 15 minutes of sun every, uh, as much as you can get out three times a week is gonna give you vitamin D for free, not even have to get a vitamin pill. So it's just fun. So enjoy being out. All right, well, I'm on this side of the house. Nice. They're big. They've grown, ooh, a foot and a half. So right in between, which you can't really see. Let me see if I can get to it. <laughs> you can't even see it. See those sticks? Okay, that is sedum. So <laughs> I divided a bunch of sedum, and I normally don't take them apart so you can have some winter interest, but and it looks like I got some red hot pokers. It was a big, big clump that was already here. And <laughs> I decided they need to be everywhere. And it's gonna be showy if they don't die. If they don't die, so we'll see. Basically, I've looked at my whole yard to see if there was anything that needed to be done. Not much. I like winter because it's all still and it stops growing and it stops, it stops making me have to weed. I hate constantly pick, 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 pick. Okay, I will show you picking days in the summer and in the spring when they start going crazy and we're just gonna take a bucket and just go around the, the place and pick, 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 pick. It's called picking day for me. But um, for now, it's rest. this is a restful time for me and everything looks pretty good. Um, it, you don't have to do just you kind of just looking at it it's all s asleep there's something good about just letting everything rest water them if they need a little bit of peace slowing down and that gets me a chance to catch up look I love this going up my little alley up the hill to the front door to this fabulous absolutely oops I forgot him all right I'll bring a little bit of water out for you <laughs> I forgot the water that was one of the other plants that we put in the green mountain boxwood but look I'm gonna decorate this this year okay but distraction all right see well not that crooked stone but the big stone it's one of the pink stones that was already here and I am going to today do my first stone work uh -uh. on my own. I'm doing two rows. I'm switching back and forth between these and some stones that look like this. Not my favorite, maybe wouldn't have picked it, but they were already here. I'm just gonna, I saw them at Lowe's, so I'm just gonna keep going. And um, we're starting right here, and we're gonna make them go all the way up to the post. And then I want brick in my Williamsburg garden. That's sort of traditional there. We just got the last Green Mountain boxwood done. So now I'm back for my mise en place, which is principle number eight. Okay, I'll show you everything I got. Wardrobe. And this may be a little hot <laughs> already. I know it's only 55, but I'm gonna be working up a sweat. And this is a flannel shirt, but let's see how this works. Okay, that's principle number one. All right, principle number two. Ah, phone. Yes, very important. Principle number three, water, which I'm actually gonna put in my pocket. And let's see, principle number four is, I just bring the notebook out just in case I have something to write. This is just an icky pad and then you can write your notes later on in your journal, which I'm not super into uh, big time, but if you like to just analyze everything, get it down, put it on paper. And then of course, this is part of wardrobe. Today, it's appropriate for me to have gloves. This project's gonna need a bucket and two tiny little shell, uh, <laughs> two tiny shovels. Whoa, look at that. Just for me. 
These are baby shovels for most people, but it fits me perfect. Go to a store, get the perfect size for you, and see if you can work it. This is a very lightweight shovel, but I love it because I'm not tired just picking it up. That makes me tired. I get a big old shovel that's really heavy. I'm already pooped out, so get something appropriate. And then part of the wardrobe, except look at that. <laughs> no socks but uh, that's what we're gonna do these shoes should be pretty good to handle everything and um, let's get to it That took a while, um, not quite an hour, but I'm pooped. So I think I'll do one more smaller one. Look at what we got done. <sighs> All right, it is gonna be good. It's gonna be only too wide as you can see the string. So I'm gonna go large, um, sort of not quite half the size. It's a little bit more than half the size. And then up there, I'll put a large one of these, like right here. Well, I don't know. I'll have to see how it fits with this. I may have to start with that one. Uh, anyways, I put some fill that I was gonna dump, but it's gonna rain tomorrow and uh, things will settle and I'll see. Mainly, I'm looking for, see those corners? 
those are the corners that I'm most worried about. And also, it's flat with the black top. So, I rarely have to pick them up. See, I did these, and they just attached the black top to it. They've been here a year, not moved. So, got the same bricks right here, except I added, I don't know, that was a little bit plain. So I thought, eh, I don't want to make a runway of that. So I had these around, put these, and then next, and then I'll put a big one. So it'll go ding, 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 all the way up. Two rows, that's it. See the string line? Those are all the rocks I got from digging. Lots of rocks around here. Okay, now I'm all messed up. I'm gonna do a few projects inside, maybe some time for some eggnog, I don't know. So I don't wanna go crazy this uh, year. I At Thanksgiving, I gained a pound, so I've lost 12 pounds altogether from my highest. 26 pounds so that's good but I want to keep it down so not too much sweets and things like that so trying to keep it good healthy foods uh, try to be conscious of that as well as gardening and doing other things um, so I'm trying to keep conscious of all that but um, so maybe you want to take a ride with me I don't know uh, I haven't had anybody else who really wants to do it, but um, it takes time and it takes work and it takes thought. I basically cut out a lot of carbs. So anyway, so I um, think I'm done for the day. That was a lot of work. Maybe I lost a few pounds just by doing that little bit of work. Who knows? I'm gonna go in now and see if I can do a few more Christmas Put up a few more Christmas decorations before I call it quits today. So we got a few things done. We're outside. Get outside at least three times a week, even if it's cold. Put on a little scarf, put on a jacket. Today was pretty comfortable, 55 for working, not standing. And um, so I want to encourage you to keep going. Do a little bit of exercise. Stretch. After you go and remember to raise your hands and breathe in. Hold it. Just once in a while. This is something that we forget to do. We forget to breathe in and don't forget to drink a lot of water. So it's been a good day. Got a few things done, but keep moving, keep gardening and stay creative. I'll see you next time.